What's up guys? This might be the only time I'm too tall for the frame of the camera, but I don't know where the tripod is. And we're going to grandma's soon, so I gotta film this video. Volleyball season is almost over. I think we have one more game and then one more tournament. And I did this kind of video for track and I want to do it for volleyball. So it's kind of like a what's in my gym bag at the end of the season and also kind of the season in review. So this season was different than last year. We moved up a league. So last year we were in a smaller league. We moved up and it was definitely a hard change. Last year we were undefeated because none of the teams, you know, were super competitive. And so we moved up a league so we could get more competitive teams. That's definitely what we got. We weren't undefeated. I honestly don't remember our record, but we probably lost more games than we won, which is really sad. So I have a couple notes written down. Let's first go over though what's in my bag. I use this for track, volleyball, everything. Top pocket. It's a mess. This is so much less organized than last year. I've got gym clothes, my shorts and shirt, I have different shorts for volleyball. My knee pads are out in my car. I don't know why. I have my volleyball shoes. I actually don't really like to wear these to play volleyball because they make my feet hurt. I literally wear Converse to play because my feet like flat shoes. I have my uniform with both colored jerseys. I didn't play libero most games this year. I was expecting to, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting I was gonna play it after last year because that's the way I trained. She trained me to be partners with the libero all the time and then she put a senior as libero this year, which was surprising, but it was okay. I played libero a couple games and it went really good. So hopefully I'll be able to play next year. But I just, I keep my uniform just thrown in my bag. I also have a spare uniform because I forgot I think my volleyball shorts to one game and so she just went and got me another jersey, whole bag of jerseys. So I've lent these jerseys out to my teammates who've forgotten their jerseys and it's all good. Nylons, I don't know why those are in there. I probably forgot to take them out. I've got some lotion that I never use. Dry shampoo that I use after gym sometimes. A sports band, deodorant. An almost empty roll of tape. I jammed so many fingers this year. I jammed my pointer one and then literally the day I stopped taping it, I jammed this one. And then I kept like re-jamming either of them at each practice and it was pretty great. Compression socks that I never wear. Those are the tight ones and then I have just a chill. These are so gross, guys. I should probably throw those away. Those are those are nasty. I've got some BCAA. That's a post-workout supplement that I take to the weight room. Uh, we've got a pencil, and I actually really like this hairband. I don't know why I'm not using it. I don't know why I have a nail file. It's fine. In the side pocket, right here, this is more of my track bag that I never actually cleaned out. So I've got sunscreen. I do have weightlifting gloves and an ankle brace that is trash. I have a bunch of spikes. I have three eighths and a quarter inch, so I'm set. Camera battery, probably keep that. I've got this big roll of trashy athletic tape. This one isn't sticky. I use it for relays. I've got I think, what are these called? A wrench for the spikes. Well, that's pretty good. This side pocket, we have a scrunchie, a bunch of pencils, and some hand sanitizer that I try to use after I work out because high school weight rooms, who knows what's in there. That's kind of gross. Um, my other side, I have some KT tape, just in case I ever need it. A bunch of tampons. And again, my knee pads are out in the car. I have practice tomorrow. So let's just talk about this season. So our schedule, we had practice five days a week and practices were two hours long from 3.30 to 5.30. And that was a really long, it's really hard to practice for two hours, especially if you had a stressful day, if you have a lot of homework you know you need to do. Like there were a couple of practices that everyone was just out of it. And so for two hours, it was just, it was just bad. Last year practices were 5.15 to 7, and this year it's 3.30 to 5.30, which is pretty nice, but I will say I'm sad that, like last year I used to go to the weight room from 3.30 to like 5, and then practice was 5.15 to 7, and this year I can't go to the weight room after school, but it's okay because I have lots of weightlifting classes. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, me and the other libero would go do agility training for just half an hour, just like lots of ladders and uh, vertical jump training. And that definitely helped both of us, I think. Like our 5'10'5s 
definitely were a lot faster if you know what that is. It's an NFL combine training, I think, one of the tests they do. There was quite a bit of team drama this year, more than I think I've ever seen on our volleyball team and more than usual for some of the sports teams I've been on. I think people just got frustrated with each other because, you know, we were playing more difficult teams this year than last year and people got frustrated with other players, people got frustrated with coaches, and so there, that definitely came out in a couple games and we really did not play our best, but I think we worked it out and there still might be some times that, you know, you can see people like clenching their fists and I won't lie, I've been one of those people, but we get over it because that's what a team does and you always come back and you play your hardest and you can't place the blame on anyone. You have to take responsibility. Even if you didn't play, if you were on the bench, you had a role in the outcome of the game. That's what we always say. Whether you were a bench player, whether you were playing, what you did had an outcome and it affected the game. It wasn't all your fault, but it wasn't also not your fault, if that makes sense. I've been asked a lot of times what positions I played. I mainly played back left. Like I said, a couple times I played libero, and I would always, I was a, I'm trying to remember what it's called, a DS, defensive specialist. I think I just rotated out when I was in the front row. There was a couple times that the girl I was switching out forgot to come switch me out, so I ended up in the front row for a couple plays. I'm actually pretty good in the front row. I can't block, I just get off, and I'm an off blocker, I don't even try. But. I can hit pretty good guys. I've got high vertical, I just gotta get a good approach and then we're good. Got a couple hits though in the front row on accident but it was okay. So I mainly played back left and I really really enjoyed that. I don't know if I told you guys this in my exercise video but I haven't been able to run for almost two and a half months and it's been so hard because volleyball there's not a lot of like sprinting just that you do you do run to like get the ball but in a lot of practices we'd all go around and we all have one serve and for every missed serve the entire team ran a set of lines so there was one time that it was like eight set of lines and I couldn't run it and I felt really bad so I just do planks until everyone is done and let's just say I got some good abs from doing planks because I can't run and it's really sad I'm actually maybe I should say this for a different video but my calves aren't getting better despite taking two months off of lower body lifting and running. We've been stretching and doing everything possible. And the second I start running again, we tried it last week, it did not go well and it started hurting immediately. So we're gonna give it until track season. And if it's not better, then we'll go to a doctor. And I was told I'll probably need surgery if it wasn't fixed by this track season. So fingers crossed guys, we're trying to figure it out. We think it might be compartment syndrome, but I don't know. We also had a tournament, which was fun. We don't do a lot of tournaments. We usually only do one at the end of the season, which is the big state tournament, but we did do one that was just for fun this year, which was actually a super fun experience. It was about an hour away and it was just two whole days of volleyball and everyone was sore the next week after. And I was so surprised because it's not, again, volleyball, it's really not an exertional sport. I mean, you're jumping a lot and so you might get sweaty from jumping and constantly moving your feet, but it's not like track where you're just like running, you know? But we were all sore the next week just because you're constantly in that low position, you know? That was, it was a fun tournament. We, I think we took third, I don't remember but it was pretty good. We had a couple of off games, but overall I thought it was really fun. It's a fun time to bond with the team. You go out, you get lunch, you get breakfast or whatever, and those are the times that you really see each other's true characters is picking someone up at six in the morning to go play volleyball. Yep, yep. <laughs> I made a lot of friends on the team. We lost maybe three players from last year because they were seniors. And then we lost a couple who just left the school. There's only, actually I want to say there's like four seniors maybe. And then there's actually only like one other junior with me I want to say. And then we got a lot of freshmen that are playing this year. Which is fun because you know, they're starting so young and then in the next couple years, you know, we'll all have played together for a while and we'll all be meshing together. So I'm excited for next season too. Hopefully if I do end up having surgery, fingers crossed they don't have to, but you know, if that's what happens, then it happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to play next season. Our libero who's playing this year is a senior, so I'll be the one of the only seniors on the team next year, so we'll see if I play libero or not. But overall, the season has been pretty fun. I really look forward to volleyball after school. Even though some practices are longer than others, I think that's the way it is in all sports. Are you guys like that? Do you ever have practices that you're just not in it? Or maybe even your entire team just isn't in it? I don't know. 
We've definitely worked pretty hard this season. We're excited for it to be over. I feel like that's kind of the way everyone is. Our season has been going on from mid-August and now it's almost the beginning of November. It's been a while. Um, so I think we're kind of ready, but you know, it's been a fun season. It's definitely one of the things I look forward to every year over the summer. You know, I was counting down the weeks until volleyball tryouts. We had our first game less than a week after tryouts. That was not a good game. Let's just say we all tried to forget about that game. And then games were like twice a week, right from the start. But we've gotten better. We've definitely started playing well together and we definitely have fun in practices. There have been some practices where we get yelled at because we're either being too serious or we're goofing off. So I think part of being disciplined is just learning the center, the good balance between having fun and also goofing off. So do you guys play volleyball? I know I have a lot of people that play volleyball who watch. So comment down below what position you play. And if you don't play volleyball, what sport do you like to play? And also tell me about your past season in whatever sport that is. I know we have a lot of basketball players, soccer players. Um, a lot of people play soccer in Utah and probably around the world because I think soccer is the most popular sport in the entire world. I've never liked soccer though, so I'm sorry. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Sorry if this video seemed rushed, but I've got Sadie's at the end of the week and we're spending two whole days on Sadie's. And then I have volleyball every day after school. And then next week we have a tournament all weekend, so I won't be able to film then either. So <sighs> I was able to film this today and that just makes me happy that I was able to film my camera just turned off. I really hope it films all of that. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Again, comment down below if you play volleyball, what position, or if you play another sport. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you all next time.